Okay, so I'm a single mom, and I've been a single mom since my son was five weeks old. And becoming a mom, a single mom at that, has changed my perspective on a lot of stuff, including guys with children, guys that are single with kids. And nine times out of ten, I would never date a guy with kids. And I have a kid. Let me explain why. So the way my mind thinks of it now is that there are some women out there that are choosing to be single moms. There are some women out there that you know are shitty moms. There are some moms out there that did their partners dirty and you know the split was because of them. That's very much so possible. However, most moms are not choosing to be single moms. That's the way I think about it now. When a man is trying to entertain me and he has a child, it makes me think, why didn't you and your baby mother work out? Because now she's a single mom, you know what I mean? And when you have a kid, whether it's with someone that you're married to or a relationship with or whatever, like you're expecting a family. You're expecting your child to have both parents in the same house together, amicable, in love. So when you're raising a child separately. Is she is she hearing herself right now? Is she hearing, is she hearing what she's saying? Something must have happened. And first of all, let's be for real. As moms, nine times out of ten, we don't have time to cheat. We're being moms. Like, let's be for real. And I'm not saying cheating is the only reason why a relationship could not work. Because I've had men tell me that, oh, them and their baby mama didn't work out because their baby mama was tripping or whatever. And it's like when a man tells me that their baby mama's tripping and let's say their kid is like a year old, that makes me feel like, okay, so she's going through postpartum and you didn't have the mental capacity or the patience to deal with her postpartum especially if it's a situation where he gets his kid like every other weekend like no mom is choosing that no mom wanted that to happen especially if he has multiple baby mamas if he has two or more baby mamas absolutely not absolutely not because i learned my lesson the first time why the f moral of the story is i'm getting a private investigator on whoever the fuck next like seriously whoever i end up like so are you saying that you picked a man with multiple baby mothers now you're judging all men with kids because there are some men with kids who are good men. Them and their partner just broke up. But you're judging all men with kids based on the fact that you pick poorly. You can't understand your role in becoming a single mother. You can't see that the fact that you're a single mother is directly linked to the man that you picked to have a baby with like most women there's this myth out there that a lot of women expel right this idea that oh my god i was with this great guy and then he just turned bad no that's not what happens seven eight nine times out of ten you're with a trash guy from the start you knew he was trash but you thought you could change him you thought he would change and he just remained the same like dating dating oh best believe the pi is gonna be on that ass because these men be lying about why they're not with their baby mamas no more. They be motherfucking. And I'm not even necessarily thinking about baby mama drama because ain't no baby mama drama when it comes to my child's biological father and me. That shit is over and done with. When we broke up, we broke up. But it's because of how bad he did me. And especially after the fact, the disrespect that I've gotten after the fact. So that's what would make me think like too, like when a situation is so volatile to the point where I won't even like entertain any type of conversation with you as your child's mother like as someone from the outside looking in someone's trying to date you and that's the dynamic you have with your baby mother that would make me side eye you too like why y'all like why is it that bad the beef that y'all got you know what i mean you're not looking at yourself though like just like you would side eye a man in that situation as a man with no kids i would side eye you for picking a terrible guy you can you not you don't you don't, you, don't, you don't see that. So, yeah. I mean, there are some men out there that are genuinely good single fathers that, you know, they stepped up to the plate and they got their kids and, you know, they're doing what they're supposed to do. I wouldn't mind one like that. But once again, my PI would confirm to me that that's what the majority of these single dads are not single dads. And I'm also going to include dads that have, like, legit court order, like, full custody of their kids. Because if the court gave you full custody of your kid as a dad, then there legit is something wrong with the mama. Because they never that shit unless they really really have to because it is very possible for a mom to be a shitty mom and for a mom to you know go mia on her kids and you know for a mom to I, i've heard of that before i know that's possible but it's not as likely as a motherfucker. there's nothing wrong with having your standards there's nothing wrong with having your preferences okay but you you have to look at yourself
You really, really do. The idea that no woman picks to be... It, it's like you're making out that the majority of single mothers in your situation are victims. No, you just pick terribly. That If you pick better, you'd be in a better situation. Trust me. Why you should not make cinnamon rolls or any baked goods out of your yeast infection. I just want to do some damage control what? because I know I came on here and said I made cinnamon rolls out of my yeast infection. I saw this video really good, and I was going to react to it. Really I thought he was joking. But we consumed them. And two days later, these white spots start popping up, popping up on mine and my husband's tongue. And I'm Googling what that means. And it says it's oral thrush, which is essentially a yeast infection for your mouth. And the reason we have it is because we consumed my yeast infection. So what I thought was a very what? special Valentine's gift, uh, truly a special made with love from things that came from my body. No, made with an infection. Turned out to be the present of your body. Crush. And it's not fun having it. It's not the most comfortable thing to I can't live imagine. with. It's kind of painful. And I just feel so, so bad for giving it to my husband. And I'm thinking I need to make it up to him in some way. I was wondering what did now he do? What crime did he commit when I first saw this video? I didn't believe it! So I removed the part where she stuck her tug out because it was absolutely disgusting. I didn't want to put you guys through that. I don't understand some people. To make a meal out of your yeast infection. As an idea that this is some sort of romantic gesture because it came out of your... And the fact that your man was just so stupid, okay? He just went along and ate it with you, idiot. Now look at both of you. Your tongue is disgusting. Your mouth is disgusting. Your whole mouth. Throw away. Throw away. You did not know it's really common here for when two people go on a first date that they split the bill. So like the woman pays her portion and a man pays his portion. And the other thing about that is that on the date, you are only going to pay for what you consume. So let's say I got a margarita for $8 and he just got water, you know, free water. When the total bill comes out, it's very common for the man or whoever to be like, hey, I didn't drink that margarita. So I'm not, I don't want to split it like that. I want to pay for what I ate. So I went to the internet to try to figure out why is it like this? You whoa, 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 whoa. You have to go on the internet to understand why equality exists in 2024? Huh? You no, know, because th this is not like it, how it is in America. It's very different. And apparently I can't read because I can't come to understand why. Are you telling me... What Feminism! It's very interesting when a lot of these women come to Europe and they realize how liberal we are. It's, it's you asked me out on a date. You told me I was beautiful. You invited me out to dinner. You're telling me how much you want to marry me and you want me to have your first children. And you tell me when the waiter comes out with the bill, after you said you was going to build a house with your own bare hands for me, and the waiter comes out with the bill and you look at me like this. So are you going to pay? What? In Germany. Ain't no men in Europe talking about building houses with their bed. Like, let's, let's keep it real, okay? There's a reason why the Puzzle Bros don't come to Europe. Because feminism and equality has been taken very, very literally. You and me are equals. Why am I to do these things that you can do for yourself? That doesn't make any sense. You know, I tell people all the time that we are very liberal here. They don't believe me. You know, I see in America, some of you, some of the states, you guys are fighting over abortion. Like, oh, no, no, we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> we are liberal, okay? I'm pretty sure you can get locked up for hate speech over here. I'm pretty sure. I don't be on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure you can get locked up for hate speech over here. I'm pretty sure in places like Sweden, like 50-50 is ingrained in their DNA. If you pay for someone else's meal, they view it as like being offensive. Like you think I can't do it for myself? Yeah. <laughs> Feminism is for real over here. Look at this shit. My adversity right now is... <sighs> here we go. Uh, listen to this dumb ass shit. Here this nigga go. My, nah, because I, I, I'm tempted about saying it, but I'm a, I'll keep it G. I'll keep it real. It's, it's marriage, right? Mm. Mm. Marriage. Oh, it's tough. How long you been married? Mar Seven years. When I first got married, you kids. Two by my wife. Why you say it that way? <laughs> two by. Oh, I'm, I'm, over, I'm overcoming. I'm overcoming this adversity, nigga. You I'm got over two by your wife, which means you, you got some other ones. Okay. Okay. I have one more. 
Look at this. How old is that one more? He is turning two in December. Ah, Exceeding, excelling, and overcome. I, I, I'm surviving it. You're surviving. I'm two years past. You're not surviving it. It's I'm, something that you did. Oh, def- most definitely. Look at this but I'm dead. still, I'm still, me and my map, me and my wife, we still I'm rocking. Still rocking. Like I'm, I'm surviving. It's well, tough. She's ex- she's overcoming. Oh, she definitely is. You obviously did something you weren't supposed to do. I think you need to learn how to exceed and excel as a husband. No, for sure. So tell time. me how you're exceeding, excelling. Listen to this. Hey, listen to this. As a husband. Shit. As a husband. I can use multiple examples. Multiple but for examples. one, I'll, I'll say one. Okay. I most recently did. My wife. She didn't even realize I was doing it. One day. One day I just randomly sent her. I always send my thing is blue hearts. Sent her a blue heart. Love you, babe. Good morning. On my morning text. Mm-hmm. Next day, love you, babe. Two hearts. Next day, love you, babe. I saw. I caught myself sending her just like three, three random hearts. And I said to myself, "Oh, look at this nigga. Let me see how long I could go on with this heart. Like every day, I'ma add an <laughs> extra heart. Mm-hmm. I want to see how long. Like I, this. And this was <laughs> this real talk." A like little, like, little okay. tactics, and I said, "Let me see if I could finish this thing throughout the like year into the new year, right?" Oh, long story short, I messed up, right? Messed With twenty-one days, <laughs> I, I, I don't know about you, or it, I felt good about twenty-one hearts, like so, straight everything good, no arguments, no disagreements. He said, "So this is what happens when Puki and Ray Ray get married." Okay, this guy sounds like a gaslighter. He's the one that's surviving. And thriving, you had a whole baby inside your outside your marriage. Wow, but you're the one that's surviving and thriving. Make it make sense. And then you do this hard thing, probably out of guilt. Okay, let's be real. You wanted to last a year. You lost twenty one days, and you're giving yourself a pat on the back. And your wife stayed with you as well. I don't want to say you found a real one because I don't think a woman staying through cheating makes her a real one, but. You found some, okay? You got very, very lucky because she had all grounds to leave. And if I was advising her, I would have told her to leave. So I'm noticing that more and more women are choosing abstinence and celibacy. And at this point, I definitely understand why. Like between the situationships, the men not wanting to commit, the men not wanting to be honest, the down low men, and these married single men i get it i do i really do and i feel like i have really truly made the decision to work on myself and to be by myself while i'm in this transition period like i feel like i'm in a weird transition period but i've accepted it and i feel like now is the time for me to really just focus on myself and not think about dating i feel like i have goals and i have things that i want to do first before i actually date because i really do want to date with a purpose but y'all the things that i have been seeing lately it's just like beyond and it's too many things out here like i'm not shocked that women are choosing these things i'm not shocked that women are content with these things and it's some men too like don't get me wrong it is some men too that are tired of it too and they've decided you know i'm just gonna be by myself but the things that I have been seeing lately, y'all, like, if I'm being honest, like, I'm thoroughly disgusted. Like, people feelings, they don't care about how they make people feel. It's really just people are just out for themselves now. They don't care how they make people feel. They don't care about how they treat people. They only care about themselves. And this is, like, really sickening. <laughs> I find it very interesting that a lot of these women will only choose celibacy once they hit a certain point. Because especially the younger women, they are sleeping with far more people than men, having way more sex than men are. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with working on yourself, focusing on yourself. You know, maybe you want to get to a certain place mentally, physically, whatever, spiritually, before you start dating. There's nothing wrong with that. But if your whole thing is, I don't want to date because of all the married men who are single the down low men if that's all you're seeing in the dating market you're the problem because then in your mind you've deluded yourself to think that all people are bad which isn't the case most people are actually good people most people have no nefarious plans or aren't doing anything weird or cheating or most people just good people trying to get by that applies to every walk of life 
So if you're only seeing negativity, don't forget when it comes to social media, TikTok and Instagram, they're going to show you what you want to see. So for example, I am on the TikTok with all the bitter women and all the feminists because this is what I do on my YouTube channel. So that's what I see. So if you're seeing negativity, it's because that's what you want to see. The only thing that I have to say about this, and for those of you that don't know, there's a girl who went to a concert with her boyfriend, her boyfriend bought the tickets, and then she went up on stage with the artist and was like bumping uglies just with clothes on. And all I have to say is, you know when you're with your man and you're just so sick of him. You're halfway out, but you're just waiting for the right time. You can't stand him. But you guys have ties and you're just ready to cut them. That's, I would do what she did if I was feeling like that. So there are certain types of women on this planet who will go to every length to defend other women's bad behaviors. And we know these type of women, okay? These are the patriarchy, feminist, male privilege, all these types of women, septum piercing. They're some of the weirdest people on the planet. Let's keep it real. In their minds, a woman can't just be a bad person. There must be a reason behind it. These are the same women who will point out how men are the biggest threats to women, but they will never point out that women are the biggest threats to children. She comes out talking about, you know, when you're just so done with a man, instead of putting on your big girl pants and just ending a relationship, no, no, no. I would embarrass him in front of millions of people just because I'm done with him. You know how stupid you sound? Now I'm